Now, I have done a tea tunic video before, but it was very, very crude. It was just showing you the basic idea. So I wanted to start out this series by redoing that. Now what I've gone ahead and done is I flipped my fabric over. This is going to be the side that shows out to other people. This is going to be the inside of the fabric. So I basically folded it so that it's inside out. I'm going to walk this up until it comes to just above where my knees are sitting on the ground. I am going to make my cut along the bottom. Now, as I cut this, I'm going to be taking off this hem that was part of how it came. You want to lift as you do this. And as you go along, you want to stick a finger between here and grab between your thumb and your knuckle. Our first fold is up here. That's the line of our first fold. We're going to bring it over this way, smooth it out. Stick a hand in here and smooth it like that as well. Make sure you've got everything about as square as you can. So we're going to flip it over. And we're going to smooth it this way as well. Now at this point, you're going to need to know your half chest size. In order to know that, you're going to have to know your full chest size. So I'm going to start with the beginning of this tailor's tape in front of me. I'm going to pull it around up under my armpits, about as tight, snugly as I can get it there. And just in normal, relaxed form, so it doesn't constrict breathing, but so that it also doesn't fall down, I'm going to put it over the largest part of my chest. And I'm going to bring the little metal tab just behind tape. And it seems like it comfortably measures to about 43. What I'm going to do there is I'm going to actually add an inch. Because when you go to sew this, you're going to lose as much as half an inch on either side. Usually only about a fourth an inch, but depending on how clean your cuts are and how strong you want your stitch, things like that, you're, you're going to lose about a, a fourth to a half an inch. And then there's also the problem that when you go to wash it, it's going to shrink. So you do need to add at least an inch to compensate for loss throughout the process of creating it and then using it later. <clears throat> so I'm sitting at 44, which means my halfway mark is 22. Now the thing is, 22 is not my half chest size because that would be the front to underneath the armpits. Okay, so that's my front chest and respectively it's also about my back chest size. So what I actually need because we have this, we have the front and back folded together, and then we have it folded over again. So this area here is going to be one half of my chest. And so I need half of 22 now. Fold the tab over to the 22 line, pinch it there, and then see what that measurement is. It's 11. The distance I'm going to actually want to come in from the edge is 11 inches. And that is from the folded edge. Now, this section here, this is going to be the arm. And this is going to be short sleeved. It's probably going to come to just above the elbow here. So, how do you get that measurement? How do you know how far down to come this way? We know how far we got to come in from this folded edge. How do we come 
How far down do we come in from these two folded edges though? Okay, you want to measure your bicep and you want to measure it flexed. So you can hold that with your chin. You can come around 15 inches and we'll add one more for consideration of the seam. And you know, where am I both up? These again, we're just gonna put that in half. And we now know that we want to come eight inches in. I'm gonna get my marker. I'm gonna put a little dot right there. Remember, this is on the inside of the fabric. It might bleed through a little bit, but washing will take care of that. And we are going to be sewing along this edge. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to measure the neck. You can do that by placing it around the neck. You want to get it kind of if you can, the way you can feel it straight, and you don't want it right down by the collarbone or right up at the chin, you kind of want it in the middle. And uh, that's about 15 or 16 as well. Now we're not actually going to need to add an inch to this measurement, but we are going to have to have it and have it again. We're coming about four inches in. That's going to make it eight inches long on one side and on the back side is going to make it another eight inches long. So you can see why we doubled over twice there. So we're going to come about four inches in right here and you only want to come about Oh, half an inch to an inch, and then draw your line out to the edge like that. Here you want to consider that your armpit flexes, and so you're, you're not going to want to cut it straight in, or you're going to get fabric cringing up in here. Come from the corner here, and do a little bit of a scoop one that ends it up on the outside of the dog and bring it out like this right to the edge. Now at this point you're going to need to decide if you want this to be straight or if you want this to be tapered out. And that all depends on your belly size. You want to measure from about your navel around your back and back around to the front. Now my belly size apparently is 38 inches. That is something I could stand to work on a bit. <laughs> but it's not bigger than my chest size. So flaring it out by having my line come out diagonally won't actually help me at all. In fact it might make it a little more uncomfortable to wear because I'll have this poof going on down here that I can't really do anything with. I can't tuck it or anything like that. Whereas if you have a belly, that poof is going to hang off straight relatively. It's going to be a little uh, ruffled, but it'll, it'll hang off rather straight. And so you could tuck it. Now, if you did, let's just say you were 45 inch belly. So the best way I found to do this is after you got your measurement, you fold it in half, you put it about where your belly would be, and then you bring this down to the edge, and that's your flare from this point to there. So you would draw your line like that. But I'm going to do mine pretty much straight down like this. Now, if you're not using a guide, one thing that will help you draw a rather straight line is not turning your wrist at all. You just move your arm. Okay, so now we are going to make some cuts. Just gonna come in from the folded edge here. And I grab this like this. Make sure I get all the layers in there. And I'm gonna grab the corner like this and stuff like that. What we're going to do here, this is very important that you do this part right, 
you pick up just the top layer. You bring your finger to where it creases and you make sure that you pull back the second layer of it. So you're only working with this top fold. Okay, can you see that? Go. You're only working with this top fold. And that you're going to put a vertical slit in. You're going to want to just go about maybe two or three inches in. You don't have to make it a big slit for the moment. That should be enough to allow it to fit over your head. If it's not, you can make it bigger later. Then we're going to come to the bottom here and we're going to cut up our line. Now, when I get to this curve, notice I turn my scissors almost completely sideways. This will keep you from accidentally shooting up past your curve and, and basically just ruining it. Right the scissors back to up and down, and I keep going out. There we go. Now, this is spare fabric that will be used on another project. We're going to set that aside. But let's go ahead and unfold this and get a look at what we have so far. Yeah. 